welcome to the Shelly Studio, and it is time for the April uh, Gina B. Aaron's Design Team Challenge. And the prompts for April were oh, let's see. develop, expand, and build up. So, um, you know, when you get an idea in your head and you just have to go with it, no matter how tedious it might be. <laughs> That's where this is going. <laughs> so, um, I decided to take some of my scraps of digital downloads from Gina B. Aaron's Etsy store. Now this is the Mega Bundle, still using the Mega Bundle. I actually printed two copies, so I have lots of painty paper. And I am gluing that on to poor man's cardstock, otherwise known as food packaging. <laughs> anyway, um, the idea is to create tiles. So I wanted them to be stiff, and I didn't want to take the time to glue multiple um, packaging together and then have to figure out how to cut through them. So this is going to be a little thin, but um, it works okay. So I cut various widths of strips and then just started cutting squares and triangles and um, at just different angles and very random. There is nothing planned about this. And this is going to be the background. So I'm taking some light molding paste and some black gesso and we are making kind of a grout, just a gray grout, and we are just pushing these into it. It is fairly thin, um, but yeah, just thick enough to cover the cardboard and have a little bit of give. And, you know, I wasn't thinking when I did this that, um, there's a lot of moisture in that and these little tiles are going to curl because they're not super thick, but it still works out. Like they didn't curl too badly. I was surprised after, after I saw them start to curl, I was worried, but um, yeah, it didn't do too badly and you'll see in the end. So I just, um, basically I, I've sped this up like super, super fast and um, yeah, we're going to just plug these in as fast as we can. So while you're watching me put together some random tiles, um, if you don't know who Gina B. Aarons is, you can look in the description box below. There will be a link to her, um, it's called Linktree, and I will also link the products from her Etsy store that I used in this project today. So you can go there too and check out her stuff. She has original artwork there as well as digital downloads and stencils and stamps and all kinds of fun stuff. And um, if you go to her link tree, it will take you to her face. She has a Facebook group and other social media sites. And you can join up if you would like. Um, also in the description box below is the link to the other designers for the 2018 design team and their projects for April. Yeah, we're in April. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is a long process. Like I said, I've sped it way up, so I'm going to let you listen to music for a little while and hope you enjoy this process. See, you can see some of them. If you look closely, you can see them starting to curl. They don't get much worse than that. Anyway, I'll come back after we've put the mosaic together.
Okay, you see that in my, cause this, the base is cardboard that I'm putting this on. It's starting to bow a little bit, so I put my matte medium bottle on there to hold it flat. Cause um, it's bad enough that the little tiles are curling a little bit. We don't want the whole thing to curl up. So that's why that's on there and kind of in your face. Sorry about that. <laughs> I need little weights, you know. I, I found a lot of reasons to have little weights. I'm gonna have to go find me some. Anyway, I was just thinking, I have done something where I did little mosaic tiles and I should have known how long this takes. Um, so I have another project that has them in it. And if I can find it, I will also link that below. I'll put it below all of the Gina B. Aaron stuff down. Um, a little further in the description so if you're interested in that you could um, go there and watch that process. I um, do a scene in Barcelona I believe. Anyway, I'll have to hunt for that. So now we have that done I let it dry. I actually let it dry for a couple of days and this is a glazing medium or varnish. This one is varnish. Um, you use this on acrylic paintings to protect protect them and I thought maybe this would help since they the little tiles were curling up a little bit just to sort of even everything out and secure them down so and then I let that dry for a while and um, had to come up with something about building so um, I really like this Buddha um, image and that is another digital download from Gina B. Aaron's Etsy store so I will put a link below. It's a bunch of images, square images and the Buddha is just one of them and then I looked up quotes by Buddha and found something really close to this. I modified it to kind of fit the page, fit the space and I liked it a little bit better. <laughs> and it's just happy pe people build their world. And I am just using Aileen's Tacky Glue. Um, I wanted to put those on there to hold that down, but I felt like it was kind of in your face. So um, once I get all the pieces glued on there, I do um, put them under weight overnight so that they will be nice and flat. And I put, see, there's where I did it. <laughs> Here's a little bit of a close-up, sorry for the focus, um, of the tiles. See, it looks like grout and tile. Anyways, I hope you liked that video. Don't forget to check out everybody's links below and see what they've created. And if you liked this video, please um, hit like. Feel free to share, comment. I love to hear your comments. And if you are not a subscriber of mine, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.